we'll be talking about the young human grey lines and their role um, uh, being incarnated at this time space. Uh, we always have uh, races that are fallen and there are races that are the original guardian races. So let's have a look into what the Iani's role is in relation to what's going on in the world right now. So the Iani human grey line or the Magi grey lines uh, are the original guardians of the planet. It's the original human race that comes from a very high uh, level of consciousness, if you like. So they're incarnated here at this time, this time space, to alchemize what is called as black priesthood. Uh, black priesthood is a group of people who essentially, just to simplify it, do evil things, okay? Um, and also clear out any matrix distortions uh, of the false light, okay? Uh, especially what is going on right now with in, with, in terms of um, what the leaders of the world are doing um, to the earth. So we can say that there's a lot of distortions on planet earth and planet earth is currently going through a reversal, energy reversal, which means its original grids of consciousness have been reversed. So the Iyanis are here to help revert earth to her original diamond sun coding template. And uh, do, they do that by the Yani group is one of those races that are here to help in this process. And they do it by anchoring in the primal light sound field of the Kathara or the Kathara, okay, which is the, you may mix that up with Kabbalah, it's not the same thing. In fact, Kabbalah is a distorted version of the Kathara. So, just to give you an idea, the Kabbalah is compromised and has been distorted purposely. It's only a 10 tree artificial grid as opposed to Kathara, which is 12. Whereas the original uh, tracings are given to us by the Magi Rao Shaman ancestors and the Anis, it is the Kathara, the Kathara, which is a 12 grid ascension ascension organic tree of life map so if you want to ascend you follow this 12 grid of consciousness map in order to ascend the kabbalah will not get you there okay it is a distorted version to keep you entrapped in a very limited reversed energy consciousness map okay it's reversed so many of us can relate to this, feel that they're here for this mission as well. You're not here by chance, okay? Many of us are remembering who we are and where we come from. Many of us are being activated and are awakening to our true origin, which is, for a lot of us, is uh, angelic, shamanic, um, one of the guardian races uh, are the Yanis or, and the Terranissians, which are a group of people, or beings, I should say, from Tara. These forces that rule right now tell us that the human race is a bastardized hybrid race, and this couldn't be farther from the truth if that's the case. Why are they harvesting our DNA? Why are they going after our DNA if we are hybridized bastard race? Okay, the human race is hybridized, but we have had three seedings, at least one with angelic race lines. So we carry angelic DNA. We carry angelic DNA. Now, Thoth. Thoth is revered by many. He is, in fact, a false god. I'm bringing him up in this particular video because he has a major role in reversing the human DNA template. Let's see what he did. So Thoth stole 
the 11th human grail line codes it got a hold of the codes why because he was entrusted as a guardian yes as a guardian originally he was one of the guardian beings and he was entrusted with the codes um, but he used those codes to um, for, for his own self service to self and um, to stop the ascension process of the ascension process or the ascension of the human DNA. He directed the Luciferian raiders, or the Pantheon gods, to dominate the world and enslave the angelic humans and eventually convert them over completely to the reversal AI coding in the end times to take them through to hell or the black hole that funnels into a fallen matrix called the wizard deck. This is marked by the beast or the metatronic coding through the flaming blue sword initiations of the Archangel Michael. So that's a lot to sort of get our head around. Basically the gist of it is that Thoth well, is not working for the in favour of the human collective or the human race. He is he wants power for himself. He wants to be immortal. Now Thoth is not just a human or a, a, a personality. He is a collective. That's why we refer to Thoth as the Thothians because it's a group of beings that uh, were sent here to do the right thing and they ended up twisting the codings, got a hold of the 11 CDT plate and reversed the codings on this to, and eventually gave us the, what is known as the Emerald Tablet, which is also a distortion of the true teachings of the Emerald Covenant. He is not a God, okay? He is a false God. Uh, females during the time of Thoth, Thoth's reign were um, taken, were taken to Nibiru by Thoth and Anarchy, okay, Thoth and Anarchy, for false breeding. This is why a lot of the feminine, uh, the females, the feminine collective is, um, has, has a lot of trauma uh, in relation to the womb because as females, we relate to the pain and suffering that's been inflicted on the feminine womb and it's um it brings us memories so it brings memories back yes so long so long ago but it's still seeded it's in our in our dna it doesn't go away until we transmute and heal from that trauma so when we remember we are healing okay thoth stole the cdt plate he wrote down the emerald tablets and they're not the real thing they're not the emerald covenant teachings okay if you do not resonate with what i'm saying that's okay you can do your own research i'm only here to give you a few pointers and uh you know at the end of the day we will have a free will to decide for ourselves but do a little bit of research and see how that feels for you on a personal level okay so i'm going to end this video uh, it's only a short video today um, I go into depth, uh, into a lot more depth in my personalized sessions with the group of people that I mentor and, uh, and help uh, in, in awakening, my awakening groups. But um, I'm just going to decide today that I'll just put it up a little snippet of what we do cover in, in these uh, sessions. Um, and I didn't want, to, want it to be a long video, longer than 10 minutes. So I'll end it on, an, on this note today. Um, don't be fooled by the false light workers and the false light movement, the new age movement. A true light worker works under the guidance of the Emerald Covenant teachings, the original teachings that have not been compromised, that take us back to source creator, to source consciousness and the highest DNA activation template. So we need to go to D or dimension 12. 
we need to harness the energy of D12 and above and not just D5, like the New Age movement tells us. So I hope this has helped uh, in some way. And yes, please do your own research um, and decide for yourself. Much love.